Coming down to the crux of the matter, how does this affect the DaVita syllabus, the current one? Right, so all of these element changes, it doesn't barely affect DaVita at all, but let's just go over a few of them. We have in the bronze waltz, step 14 is called the twinkle and weave. Yeah. So that you just have to close your feet on step six. Okay. So we'll just demonstrate the step, how it can be done now. So we have twinkle to promenade. We used to pass our feet on the weave, but now we close our feet. And then the step continues as it did. Okay. Very simple. Close your feet on step six. Okay, so in the foxtrot, as far as David is concerned. Right, the so we, yes, exactly. In the bronze, we have steps 14A and B are rhythm steps and box steps, running steps. Yes, passing feet. Yes, they're passing feet. So you actually can't do that in closed bronze. You can dance the same step, but you would have to do it in open bronze or silver or above. Silver or above. Okay. So let's demonstrate that step for you and make sure that you don't put it into your closed foxtrot. So we have our box rhythm with running step and box step. So for those in international, you cannot do a prep step, feather step, and three step. Right. Uh, we just call it a, a running step yeah. in our rhythm and box step timing. So that you have to do in Take silver or above. Bronze, yeah. So in the bronze Davida Foxtrot, there's only one other step that needs a slight adjustment. Exactly. Step 15, the twinkle and weave with grapevine. So just like the waltz, we close our feet on step six, everything else stays the same. So the way we're demonstrating it, you can use this in any closed bronze syllabus event. So we have twinkle to promenade. We're closing our feet on step six, doing our grapevine as normal, outside partner, then back into a back twinkle and back to closed. That's a fun step. <laughs> so dance it like that and you can do it in your closed bronze events. Okay, the tango is really in good shape in the Davida. Now there is a popular step that we didn't actually put into the original syllabus, but perhaps we can share that with the audience because they can use this in the bronze Absolutely. Um, closed syllabus steps. Yeah. The way the chart has been put together, this yeah. one is completely viable to use in closed bronze and it's a fun one to do. So all of your closed Davida bronze is legal and we can add this one. It's bonus, kind of bonus time. Step, yeah. So from here it's a reverse turn to back fans in double hand hold. So you can see we're in double hand hold, back fan, back fan back into closed hold. Fun stuff to do in your bronze tango. Let's take a look at the Davida Vini's walls as far as this, uh, these new rules are concerned. Yeah, at the bronze level, we just have to make sure in the change of place that we do the one where we keep hold because there's no apart. So you're not in allowed to let go of the hands. Exactly. So when you do the traditional change of place, if you do it with a lot of space between you with a turn, like you're actually letting go and that is apart. So what That's we're going not to permitted. So you want to do the one where the man chasses and the lady places the hand. Right, so that's your change of place, or we can do the one where I chasse and join the man, or I add the turn. I All think those are nicer, actually. They're pretty, right? Yeah. yeah, so you do those ones in your bronze, you'll be just fine.